The technique of finding the correct exposure time using the step tablet has never been popular among photographers. The reasons for the unpopularity were probably the price of the tablet technology and the introduction of mathematics into the artistic process. But, lately, using a step tablet is becoming popular again among fans of alternative photography. And this even by using the wrong procedure, which is intended for screen printing and not photography. So in this video, we're not going to talk about finding two identical shades and mathematical equations to find the exposure time in screen printing. We're going to enter the world of sensitometry, as explained by the first scientists in the photographic industry. The base for measuring exposure time is a so-called step tablet, called a transmission step wedge, or even a step wedge exposure calculator. It is a transparent film on which a few rectangles are printed. Each darker field, however, lets in half as much light as the previous field. There are usually 11 of these fields, but sometimes we will also find tablets with one or two additional steps. In this case, the step tablets have 21 and 31 fields, respectively. Now let's move on to practice. We place the selected step tablet on a paper coated with a sensitizer prepared for exposure. The paper is exposed to a time that must be much longer than the base time. Unfortunately, since we don't know what time it is initially, it's best to ask other users about it. Then we multiply this base time by 4. The times of the process presented here, which I have adapted to modern alternative photographers, are often photographic times. For example, we can use base times 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, or 64 minutes, or any intermediate times. In our case, we expose the paper of the so-called classical cyanotype for 64 minutes. The paper is then developed, dried, and the results reviewed. We scan the sample, open the file in any program to process digital images, and change it to grayscale mode. The value reading depends on the selected program. But for reading, we need to choose grayscale values with black having a value of 100, and white of 0. We start by reading the values in the darkest field and then move towards the lightest. The read values can be written on a piece of paper. If we read the fields from a step tablet with 11 fields, we get 11 values, in a table with 21 fields 21 values, and so on. Now we go to the website easydigitalnegatives.com, and in the download menu, we find the appropriate files that will help us draw values. We can select a file for Excel or for Mac numbers. However, we can even use PDF files from which we print the appropriate graphs. Since we used a step tablet with 21 fields in our case, we selected the file exposure tablet.numbers. We open the file and click on the 21 step tablet tab. Since we expose the paper for 64 minutes, we write the first value in a cell near value 64, the next value in the next higher cell, etc. A graph begins to appear in front of us. When we have entered all the points, we get the characteristic S curve of the exposure. We will not explain the whole theory of sensitometry. The only thing that matters is the fact that the straight line represents the theoretically correct exposure times. The most appropriate time should be at the end of a straight line, before the values start to rise more slowly. Most often, however, we opt for a value when a straight line intersects the highest value. In our case, the exposure time is 30 minutes. In most cases, this time is equal to the exposure time we detected with the procedure from the previous video. However, we can also opt for a time below the so-called D-max value. But it is up to you to decide on a suitable time. Because you already know, that the search for exposure time is followed by the search for white tones. Thank you for your time, and goodbye until next week, when we will finally realize, why Easy Digital Negatives is one of the simplest, and most popular systems for making transparent digital negatives.